What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to day number 31 of Autodesk Fusion. We are almost a third of the way there. Uh, today's part's going to be pretty easy, um, but I imagine it's going to be pretty helpful because uh, when automatas show up in Fusion, um, you're going to need to build your cams. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to build the eccentric cam today. I'm going to bring in a uh, screenshot of the dimensions of the parametric constraints. Uh, that way uh, we can quickly change our cam if needed. So I'm going to go ahead and start, uh, and before I actually create a sketch, I'm going to bring the canvas in, uh, and that's the, the screenshot of this eccentric cam. I'm going to go ahead and give it a quick little horizontal flip and just move it over to the side. This just allows me to see what I need to do pretty easily, pretty quickly make that op um, opaqueness 100%, click OK. Now under document settings, we are still in inches, so I'm going to click on units. There's a little tab that pops up to the right when you click on units. Right here, change active units, we're going to make that in inches. Um, before I get started too far, I'm going to click on this modify tab and change parameters. So what we're going to do is, uh, like the video before, we're going to make a variable um, called diameter. I'm just calling it DIA. You can't just do D um, because that's a function used to talk about other things and under the hood kind of. Uh, so when you just use D, it doesn't like it. So I use DIA for diameter. We're going to be in inches, and let's just give it two inches to start with. Click OK. And uh, now we're going to go ahead and start building our... Uh, eccentric cam. So we've got uh, a circle, we have a center point, and we have another circle based off of that other center point. All I need to do now is dimension it and we're done. So that center circle is going to have a diameter of 3 16 The, the uh, distance between our origin point or the center of the snail, or sorry, center of the eccentric cam, and the uh, origin point is going to be one fourth of distance, so it's uh, 0 0.25 times DIA. And then the uh, overall diameter is just going to be DIA. And we're going to hit finish sketch. Go ahead and extrude this out 3 sixteenths of an inch. And we're done, folks. To make sure we've done this correctly, let's go to the Modify tab and let's change that parameter. Let's make this now be, uh, let's try four inches. And what it does is it changes that nominal diameter, um, but it doesn't change that diameter of that center axle for your cam. Um, that way, you can, all you can do is just scale it to whatever size you need, and then you're good to go. Alrighty, guys, that'll be it for this video, and I'll catch you in the next one.